Ryan Casey, sales trainer, Orange Theory Fitness studio owner, and welcome to the first part of my six-part series on the basics of the real sales training method. Now, I call it the real sales training method for two reasons. One is real stands for results through empathy, asking questions, and listening. The second reason it's called the real sales training method is because it's what sales really is. Real sales is not supposed to be misleading, manipulative, or require a smooth talk, talking and charismatic salesperson. Real sales is simply about finding someone's need and helping them fulfill that need. And this is the first of the six part series where I'm going to walk you through the basics of the real sales training method. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button. But most importantly, please share this with anybody who you think it will help. Now, I got my start in sales back in my senior year of high school, back in 1997. I was not a natural salesperson. I was actually the opposite. I was extremely shy. I was nervous, scared to talk to people. However, after a number of weeks of being a lousy salesperson, I was finally able to learn, improve, and develop a set of skills that allowed me to be really successful in sales. Uh, I went into management after that, and for almost 20 years, that's where I really uh, found my footing. I was one of the top trainers in my company, really because I knew if I could get good at sales, then I could get anybody to be good at sales there. And during the six-part video series, I'm going to walk you through the philosophy and a simple five-step process to make sales, whether you're selling your product or service, you're selling an idea, you're selling your kids on behaving better, or just... Uh, selling your students on paying attention, many other scenarios. Sales is everywhere in our lives, and it makes sense to know how to do it well. So let's get started. Today is really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to lay a foundation that the five-step process is going to be built on. And it all comes down to one question. What is your objective? For most salespeople, their main objective is to make a sale. And as a manager, you might not think that, but think about the way you manage and the metrics that you monitor. It's usually how much are they selling? What are their closing percentages? So if you ha don't have a defined objective, you're generally managing for the objective of making a sale. Now, this is a very short-sighted view. If your main focus is just making a sale, that can often lead to cutting corners, saying whatever you need to in order to make that sale. This isn't the way to optimize repeat business or create a long lasting customer base. I've also heard others say their main objective is to um, understand the customer better, find out their why, what really makes them tick. And I appreciate that they're looking to really help the customer, but that's still a terrible objective. And, and here's why. Think of your objective as a timeline. And at the beginning, when you meet them to the end, when you accomplish your objective. Now, if your objective is to understand the company customers why or their motivation, where does a sale happen within that process? It doesn't, right? And this leads to a lot of frustration in your salespeople. If, if you have this uh, objective, you can relate to this, then you can probably relate to feeling that you're doing everything you're supposed to, right? You're digging in with the customer, you're trying to understand their why, but you're still not making sales. So to come up with a good objective, you simply just need to think about what you really want from your clients. Do you want repeat business? Do you want referrals? Do you want a loyal membership base to create a community? What is the outcome that you really desire? Basically, what would the ideal situation that would best set you up for the future? So to give you an example, in my Orange Theory Studios, our objective is to create a long-term member who becomes an active part of our OTF community. Now let's look at that on the timeline. We meet them here, they become a long-term member and part of our community here. Where does the sale happen? Exactly, it happens right in the middle there. But that isn't our main objective. A sale is just part of the process to a much bigger objective. And for all of you managers who have salespeople who don't really enjoy the sales part of their job, maybe they love the industry they work in, they love their jobs and they kind of put up with the sales, uh, you know, let's be honest, a lot of people who have to sell their job, it's not their favorite part of their job. But I want you to think about those people in particular, when you tell them that their job is now to create a long term member or to be build part of their community versus making a sale, which one do you think they're going to respond to better? Do you see how your team could get behind that objective a lot more than just making sales? So having a good objective that really focuses on the long term of what you want is the foundation that we will build this five-step real sales process on. 
that's it for part one. We'll see you on part two of the video series. And if you'd like to get access to the full real sales training course, go ahead and hit the link below and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and be sure to share it with anybody who you think this might help. Help me share that sales doesn't have to be that scary, intimidating thing when you do it right. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.